I invite uh, Mr. David Pastva to present Crystal Valley. Okay, many thanks uh, and greetings from, from Crystal Valley. Uh, Crystal Valley, uh, I just want to speak or introduce a region in the northern part of Bohemia, uh, which is uh, famous, let's say, for uh, glass production. Uh, the brand Crystal Valley is a uh, brand presenting uh, glass and the jewelry production in northern part of Bohemia, which is uh, which are the very traditional industries. And uh, we are also doing something with tourism and we start to present this topic uh, to, uh, to our visitors in 2019. Uh, just uh, to see where are we from uh, so here you can see the map of czech republic so we are north of prague on the borders to germany and to poland we have five uh, very interesting uh, holiday destinations uh, like uh, five uh, five mountain like the Yizera Jizera mountain uh, just to uh, just to see uh, how it looks like uh, in our uh, in our places, uh, we are we we have also the biggest uh, sandstone area in uh, in whole Europe. Uh, so that means that is the very very large area of sandstone rocks between the Elba Valley. That means on the Bohemian Saxon borders uh, to. Eastern Bohemia and part in parts in our regions are called the Bohemian Paradise, but the landmark of our region is the uh, hotel and uh, hill, the top of uh, top of the hill Yeshtet, uh, very close to the city of Liberec, which is the capital of our region. The highest mountain in Czech Republic uh, are uh, giant mountains, and so just some impressions. But let's go to the uh, to the to uh, to our region uh, in the point of view of, uh, of glass production. Uh, you can see uh, we have uh, six different types of production. It varies between drinking glasses, chandeliers, uh, fashion jewelry, Christmas decorations, or glass beads. And this uh, this concentration of the production is uh, unique worldwide. You cannot find uh, some other uh, some other places to uh, worldwide to see such a, a huge variety. Here are some historical facts. We have more than seven hundred years of history in glass and jewelry production. We have the first mentioned uh, glass work in fourteen fourteen. Uh, some uh, some interesting topics uh, are listed here, but maybe uh, most important is the so-called Bohemian crystal glass, uh, which was developed in the beginning of the 18th century and was the main or important uh, product for export of the Bohemian glass. So we are speaking about Bohemian crystal glass and we are speaking about the chandeliers production, uh, which started in 1724 in our region and uh, was important to Austrian uh, monarchy, uh, also for the emperor of Maria Theresia, who, uh, who used these chandeliers by the coronation of herself uh, in Prague Castle. But uh, some examples of what, uh, what our visitors, what our guests can uh, enjoy in our region. Uh, here are some historical examples like chandeliers in, um, in churches uh, or, uh, or other um, landmark yesh at the top of our region and the huge uh, glasswork called Fall of Meteorites uh, inside of this building is from the late 1960s. But uh, what we offer today to our visitors, uh, maybe most important institution is the Museum of Glass and Jewelry uh, in Jablonec nad Niso, which is a historical building, but has a new part, so-called uh, glass crystal building, uh, which is a new one, was built in 2020 and open to the public. 
the upper side of this crystal is used for uh, for short term uh, short term exhibitions. Uh, here you see some examples, uh, and uh, downstairs there is a permanent exhibition of Christmas decorations. But the whole museum is uh, important for uh, for glass and for fashion jewelry. Is the biggest one in the world showing fashion jewelry made of glass. Uh, here is another example of modern architecture in our region. A very, uh, very nice connection between historical architecture and the modern one. Uh, here you see, uh, here you see our uh, one of the most famous or more important companies producing chandeliers and lighting objects. Uh, that's Laswit Company, and it's our headquarters in in Novi Bor. Uh, which is uh, which is the glass making town, and here you see the architecture with, with, which was awarded by Design Award Prize in 2020. Uh, so that is already headquarters. That means offices, but there are also so guided tours for for visitors. Uh, some examples from the interior. But glass is connected to our region in many, uh, many places. Here you see, for example, our, our restaurant in the city hall of Liberec uh, with some modern glass chandeliers. Or another example, uh, glass in, in the park in a, in a town here. Or the so-called Václav Havel's place in uh, Novi Bor. Uh, Václav Havel's uh, places are to be found uh, worldwide one of them in Novi Bor. Uh, then the designer of this place is Bořek Šípek, uh, is connected to the place. He was uh, not only architecture designer, but also a glass designer. And he designed uh, this so-called Václav Havel's places. Uh, so places to, to keep dialogue, dialogue. Or another example is the, is the art of uh, Hans van Benten from 2012. Uh, this uh, this work was made during the IGS. IGS means uh, International Glass Symposium, uh, held uh, every three years in uh, Novi Bor. So this is a, a picture of, of a, a roundabout in the middle of the town. So such examples. We have also trains connected to our topic. So Crystal Valley trains. And we have uh, we have the production. We have the production and the places where our visitors can see the glass blowing, glass making uh, at the real places, which are no, um, no museums, which are no exhibition places, they are really, uh, really manufacturers, uh, manufacturers, producers, factories, uh, glass works. So just a uh, just few words uh, showing this production what uh, our visitors really can, uh, can, uh, can enjoy and experience. Uh, the typical places like uh, this picture from giant, giant mountains from the uh, from the glassworks Novosad, uh, which works uh, since 1712. Another good example is from uh, from a very small village. Here is a uh, uh, glasswork with a restaurant and a place where our visitors can also try to blow their own glasses or vases. So here you see a lady from South Korea uh, who, who tried to make her own vase, uh, which is quite a typical experience for our visitors. Few, uh, few numbers. Uh, in the whole region, we have more than 2,000 uh, 500 companies which are uh, which are making glass chandeliers, Christmas decorations, fashion jewelry, uh, but uh, we have uh, we have 70 enterprises which are ready to welcome their visitors and to show the work. So these are some numbers. So 70 70 enterprises and. Uh, most of them are open to the public on an everyday basis. Uh, some of them uh, you have to call them before because they are very small and they are, they are normally not open for public. And some of them open only during some special events. 
our position is uh, to to try to be famous uh, because of glass uh, as it is by examples like scotland and whiskey so we want to be uh, like uh, liberates and crystal valley uh, we have some examples uh, about the media who 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 already discovered us and try to try to show it to to the public uh, this um, this year 2022 is the international year of glass uh, we made or uh, we started a very new event for for our place this picture is from liberates uh, in front of the historical uh, town hall there is the beginning of our so-called crystal valley week which was uh, the first year of this festival uh, we made it uh, during uh, the uh, at the end of August 2022 and here are just some impressions from this festival which should be the new event for for the region and which uh, which could be also an event for international guests uh, here you see for example men playing on a on a uh, glass instrument another example a uh, lady who, who plays a so-called bohemian crystal instrument. Uh, here you see some, uh, some impressions from our Pecha Kucha night dedicated to the topic of glass. We had many, many exhibitions uh, in, the, in the city of Liberets, many, uh, many presentations for, for publics, uh, uh, some interesting meetings. We, we had also an open air exhibition of glass in the town hall or very special fashion shows in a, in a, uh, in a house dedicated to tramways because uh, in our city there is a tramway line and in this tramway depot we, uh, we made two evenings connected to fashion and to glass so here are some impressions so please going to conclude <clears throat> okay So, and uh, what we made during this uh, Crystal Valley week in, uh, in Liberates are also some installation, glass installation, which will be here in the, in the town uh, for, uh, for next years. One of them is so-called Crystal Tower, where we present our, our topic and the history of glass making. With uh, interesting glass objects and installations and also with pro projection of, uh, of the history. And it's a multimedia show in this historical tower. We have also some flamingos made of glass in our zoo. Uh, and we have also some actual events, which mostly are arranged that way that we invite open glass works. One of them will be uh, on the beginning of December, so-called Christmas in Crystal Valley, um, open open gates in uh, in our producers by our producers, and for example, in January, made in Jablonec, which is a fashion show showing the new collection of uh, fashion jewelry. Uh, and next week, uh, next year, we will we will make our Crystal Valley week in Liberec. Uh, at the end of August, so maybe uh, please uh, feel to be welcome in, in Liberets at the end of August. So many thanks for your attention.